they play their guts out every single play. Cadets throwing these symbols. Believe me, they all know if you're going to beat Army or Navy, that is a full day's work. At Army, Navy. Well, it has, especially when you think back and look back the last seven days. This is Trump's America. Several senators have brought up about the 6%. During hearings. Uh, weather, uh, the forecast, the uh, track of the storm. In the United States Coast Guard. He's making a hand gesture that's quite different than any of the others. Or even serving as a White House intern. The white power signal is made with the right hand and outstretched fingers that make a W and P as in white power. It's troubling, but sadly unsurprising. The reason these gestures should be taken seriously is the meaning behind them. What it stands for, as confirmed by the Anti-Defamation League and why the United States Army taking a stand is necessary. It is still early, but military officials say they are investigating both Army cadets and Navy midshipmen. For context, when the New Zealand mass shooter was arrested in court, he threw up the symbol. Thus, the Daily Wire, Ben Shapiro's outlet, put out something like this headline. Noteworthy, the man responsible for the New Zealand attacks frequented Ben Shapiro's content. The Southern Poverty Law Center wrote, white nationalists, neo-Nazis, and Klansmen have increasingly begun using the use of the symbol both to signal their presence to the like-minded, like racist and bigot Richard Spencer and Milo Yiannopoulos. The cadets and midshipmen flashing these symbols behind ESPN's Reese Davis on national television thought it was funny. Roger Stone, a longtime advisor to Donald Trump, did the same. 4chan, a website used to publish manifestos of attackers and a home to the alt-right wrote, to any who haven't seen the original thread, our goal is to convince people on Twitter that the OK hand sign has been co-opted by neo-Nazis. The fraternity culture in the US cry foul, saying, hey, let us have our game testing one's own strength. The problem with this argument is the Anti-Defamation League found and confirmed the OK hand sign is indeed a hate symbol. Part of the problem is that if, hypothetically, someone flashed white supremacist symbols at the camera, the point of the stunt would be to get liberals wound up so they can then claim that liberals are just imagining things. Thus, we are seeing conservative sites like the Daily Wire clap back at the already well-founded criticisms. That was what the OK symbol was literally invented to do. Both serve as a white supremacist symbol and also one that is just ordinary enough looking that when liberals express outrage, the white supremacists could play the victim of liberal hysteria. Lieutenant Colonel Chris Ophart, a spokesman for the U.S. Military Academy at West Point in New York, said officials there were also looking into the matter. At this time, we do not know the intent of the cadets, he said. Let's say it was a joke and a troll. Joking about white supremacy and white nationalism during a nationally televised game of this magnitude still makes you a whole ass clown, wrote Jamil Hill. From the Proud Boys causing harm to pedestrians in New York City and Charlottesville to the suspension of Alabama police officers for throwing up the white power symbol, and even guys like Mike Cernovich using the hand symbol in the White House, the message is clear. Furthermore, it is a tale of two different worlds we live in and perceive, where there is a stark defense over Caucasian men flashing white power gestures for the masses to see, yet those same take offense to a man kneeling during a song written by a slave owner to try and reach the masses for his non-racist message, equality and awareness to the injustices plaguing America. If you'd like to hear more thought-provoking content like TYT Sports on Facebook and to help in my journey to keep media independent, go to tyt.com slash Rick.